torch here. Uh, this dent is a little bit deeper than I thought. I'm holding this board on here and you can kind of see it's not all that flat right there. So I don't exactly have a spreader that is that wide. This is the biggest one I got. That baby's like six inches. So, I'm gonna have to make an extra wide spreader. Just cut me a nice piece of that piece of that smooth cardboard. Staple her down. Into a nice flat board. And voila. Just fill that up with Bondo and go. Wish I could show you, but it's going to take me two hands. So, can't put it on camera. I have to show you the before and after. Alright, well that spreader trick worked out pretty good. A little messy. Dripped it all over the place, but pretty much got the dent filled in pretty much where I want it. So, it ain't perfect, but like I always say, it's a work truck. Um... Put a coat of primer on here now, sanded her down, got some highs and low spots. Do a little more playing around. This up here ain't too bad. Um, a little more playing around with them high and low spots and good enough for paint. Good enough for me for a work truck. Well, there's this side. This was the worst. Don't look too bad. Lighting ain't all that great in here, but... You can kind of see, not too perfect, not too great, but it'll look good from a distance. And that's all I really wanted. Good enough for a work truck. Okay, and here's the other side. This side turned out a lot better, but the other side had a lot more damage. This side just had a little bit of rust other side had a nice big dent but don't look too bad a little bit of rubbing compound blending that paint a little bit should be hardly noticeable <laughs> 